Suge here. What is the proper way to hang a hammock? And I realize that uh, a lot of people just, they don't know. So today, just want to touch on the basics of that. I have covered all this hanging stuff in various videos of mine because I have tons of hammock videos. I like to refresh it once in a while because I get new people asking and watching. But for those of you that are new, just got a hammock, and you're just trying to figure out how you can hang your gathered in hammock. And by that I mean it's a hammock like I'm sitting in right now where it's, it's gathered up on this little very end right here. And you're interested in finding out how you can hang that hammock and maybe feel a little bit better in it. By that we have a place called the sweet spot. For me, my sweet spot is when I'm laying with my head to the right and my feet to the left. That may be because I'm left-handed. A lot of people, and I think most people, sleep with their head to the left and their feet to the right. So to hang that suspension at around 30 degrees and get a little bit of sag in that hammock is going to allow you to lay on that diagonal in a hammock, which gets you pretty flat. Okay, here's my green bean hammock that I've hung right here. But you can see my suspension right here, which is, that's the parts that are holding my hammock up. They're at an angle, like that. And you can see my hammock, the actual green part, is hanging with what you call a little bit of sag. It's almost smiling at you. You can kind of see that the head end where I sleep right here is just a little bit lower than the foot end. And I'm talking about the actual hammock there. So my hang in here, from the point where I've got my suspension there to the point where it is on the tree, is just under 15 feet. Now you might notice too that my length of my suspension from my head end here and the length of my suspension on my foot end differ. My suspension length on my foot end is shorter than the suspension length on my head end. And I know this sounds counterintuitive. It sort of slides you down into your sweet spot. Well, what you see happen sometimes is people have their foot end a little bit lower. And they're kind of sliding toward their feet all night. What I'm using for suspension on this hammock is your basic cinch buckle system. A lot of new hammocks are going to have something similar to this. It's a suspension system where you raise and lower your hammock. Now, when I hook my hammock to the tree, I'll have something like a very light climbing rated beaner right here. This is a Camp Nano 22. It's less than an ounce in weight and it is climbing rated. One thing for a lot of new people, don't hook it like this so it's pulling against itself against the tree. Try to move it where the, where the carabiner is off to the side so your suspension going down to your hammock is pulling from one side like that. Whenever I'm in the woods and usually what they say, and they, not being me, it's a collective group of us hammock fans. A general rule is something like 12 to 17 feet apart. When you're out camping, you're not going to find that perfect spacing. So don't get too hung up on it. Just learn to hang. I'm normally hanging about head high, and I'm six feet tall. Sometimes it's a little eyebrow high. Sometimes it's a little higher. Depends on the slope of your ground and different factors like that. So that's just something you're going to have to figure out by doing. People often ask why I would use a beaner or something like that rather than just running the strap through the little loop right here, thus eliminating this. Kind of the reason for that is if I want to move my hammock or take it down, it's just a lot easier to go around and clip like this. It only takes a few seconds. I would have to take my webbing out of the cinch buckle to run it through this strap every time. So with cinch buckles, that becomes a little factor since sometimes you have limbs sticking out on trees and uh, you're testing your hang and you don't like where it is and you want to move it up or down and you got to go around that limb it's just a lot easier to be able to unclip take your suspension go over that limb and clip it back on now the other kind of suspension that may come with your hammock is what's called a daisy chain with these sewn in loops like this all the way up and down it this is your good old poly straps they don't stretch I'm sorry I left the cinch buckle on here just because it's hard to take off but I have the beaner hooked right into the my continual loop here on the end of my hammock or whatever your hammock would come with when you get a new hammock and normally they'll give you these really heavy carabiners that are to me are way too heavy better to get something like the camp nano beaner or one from REI just make sure it's climbing rated so it'll hold your weight it won't bend and that just clips right into one of those loops. And how it goes up through the tree right there, you can see instead of using a, a beaner or a dutch clip, it's just looping right through itself. 
And that's a handy way to do it, and it's a lot easier with this kind of system because I can unclip from here, leave the bean around the hammock, and just slide that through. And of course, hooking it back on the tree, easy enough. Bring it around, take a loop, pull that through. Get it about head high to start and just clip it through one of these loops and you're going to have to go loop to loop to find your perfect, uh, your perfect hang. Here we go loop de loo, here we go loop de la. Make sure your tree is not dead. Make sure that tree is not dead. Make sure that's a healthy tree. The tree is what's ultimately holding you up. And make sure no big dead limbs are hanging over your head. And if you're hanging around the house, make sure what you're hanging off is safe and secure. I keep talking about 30 degrees, and a lot of you don't know what 30 degrees is. Here's kind of what, how you can find 30 degrees. It's pretty close. Put your hand out like that. My fingers are just straight across the ground. And that angle from here to here, from your tip of this finger to the tip of your thumb, is roughly 30 degrees. So if you can get those straps to go like that instead of like that. Also, when you're, when you're hanging your hammock really straight with your straps and pull really tight, the forces on the trees or your fence or whatever you're hanging on, if you hang that hammock really straight tight and your suspension is really straight tight and then you get that body weight in, it is pulling straight across like two cars towing each other. So if you go up with those forces a little bit at these angles, it's a little less force and stress. Helps the tree, helps your suspension, helps your hammock. Personal choice, once again. Right, right. Personally, I like my hammock so I can sit down in it, have my feet on the ground, and when I'm in camp, just sit around and relax. Yes, when you're in a gathered in hammock, you often have a wall, a hammock right here, but if I just kind of bend that leg in a little bit, I can kind of put my arm over it and smooth it out. I'm at a perfect height here for to have my coffee from the hammock in the morning. Then when I get out of the hammock, I swing my legs up, twist my body over, stand up, and I dance out. This is how I see a lot of hammocks hung, straight across. I can just feel the tightness in the hammock right here. When I get in my hammock, for me personally, I don't want to be way up here. I want to be right here, like a little, you can see the space there where the, my feet are from the end of my hammock. And that kind of gets me right up here in a place I like in my hammock. Your sweet spot's going to be different than my sweet spot. I basically sleep in a hammock because when I camp out in a hammock in the woods, I sleep 10 to 12 hours, generally. Every once in a while, it's only eight hours. Now at home, I'm a five hour sleeping guy, maybe six. And when I was a tenter and a tarper and an ultralighter, uh, maybe five, six hours a night, but going for 10 to 12 hours. I love that because the next day I'm refreshed. My 61 year old body, and I need to wake up refreshed so that I can hike like a 44 year old. These hammocks do require a little bit of fiddling. They have a learning curve. If you're not the kind of person that enjoys that, then you're not gonna really enjoy hammock stuff. But if you're the kind of person that does, you're gonna enjoy this. So this is Shook checking out all secured 67. Woo buddy! Cut, cut down when it comes to numbers. I don't need much for now.